Ever wondered why your sourdough comes out uh, dense uh, instead of being beautiful and airy? So the secret for getting the open airy crumb is about the gluten development. And let me share this secret with you. So this concept is not a secret, it's a concept on how glu on gluten works. So let me simply show you piece of bread inside the mixing bowl. When you combine flour and water, together you make the two insoluble protein inside the wheat the gliadin and the glutenin that comes together with the mechanical action they cross together and they form a net okay so we are talking about the gluten net so inside the bread you will have something like that structured like that so this is the gluten net the gluten net is responsible for holding the gas inside and expand during the baking and during the proofing. So what happened? The sourdough bacteria are inside here. Uh, Lactobacillus bacteria and wild yeast. They produce CO2, okay? So the CO2 will be produced inside the dough. And the dough will expand, increase in volume if this net is being built properly. How do you build properly? Folding. Okay, when you do the fold, the coil, the stretch and fold, you develop the gluten by time and mechanical action. It's not just the mechanical action, but also by time, the gluten developed by time. Okay, so what happened? The CO2 will be uh, released inside. If the gluten net is properly done, it will be trapped and the bread, when it's inside the oven, you score it and then it will uh, have a beautiful oven spring. But... If you don't do this properly, the bread will, re will be flat. So this is one of the main reasons of flat bread is because the, the gluten hasn't been developed properly. Gluten reacts differently, if, uh, re really depending on the flour you're using. Every flour is different. Even if it's the same protein, the same kind of flour, biggest flour, but if it's grown, the wheat itself is grown in an, uh, another environment, a different altitude, different temperature, it will develop a different gluten. When you do the stretch and fold, it becomes tighter and tighter you can feel the dough underneath your hands. The gluten has a certain elasticity so the, you will feel the dough tight tight and tight and then if you keep doing the stretch and fold it will break and that's when you will the bread will result again in a flat bread because these links are being broken okay so when you do the stretch and fold you build up this net but if you're doing it too much you will break it okay very very important so how to prevent to break those the links between the protein you have to stop and wait that's why stretch and fold has to be repeated at intervals at least of 20 minutes 20 30 minutes you repeat so what happened to the gluten itself when you rest the dough it will relax but the links between the protein will be intact when you come in back in 20 minutes time the gluten will gain back the elasticity and you will be able to do another stretch and fold reinforcing those net okay after a while minimum of three stretch and fold up to six stretch and fold or coil or whatever technique you like you will be building up the gluten net a gray gluten net is essential for having open crumb okay this is one of the concepts to understand when you handling dough listen to this video again and again and try when you're making the dough try to feel the dough fold the dough until you feel it tight and then leave it rest then bonus secret when you handle a dough that is sticks to your hands let it rest cover it let it rest come back in 10 15 minutes you will notice that the gluten will start to develop even better and the stickiness will be going away i really hope you like this video make sure to save it keep following i have a lot of concept a really important concept to explain to make you a better baker i'll see you on the next one ciao belli